Holla, holla, holla. Welcome, ladies and gents. Welcome to... And I hear, my, hear myself. God damn it. Uh, welcome to the Link to the Past Randomizer Challenge Cup. We are deep in quarterfinals. Yesterday, SPN beat Ravis after he made a real crucial mistake that made him drop game one. But today, he wants to show the world that he's capable of reaching the semi-finals. And it's gonna be swordless today, and that's something I'm way too bad at, but the runners are good enough at, and I'm pretty sure Seto and Warcakes are great at as well. So welcome to the two of you, and Nado's doing the tracking S so many times before, so everyone enjoy the show. Well, hello then. This is Seto. I'm I'm excited for this. I'm joined by uh, Wall Kicks, I believe. First time commentating. Uh, yeah, first time commentating. This is going to be a lot of fun, uh, especially on a swordless seed. This is going to be exciting. Oh, definitely. In fact, uh, Espion types his name in there. He might have a treat for us at the end of this race. So uh, stick around. It's going to be nice if he does it. <laughs> that would be really impressive he was doing a little practice before this race started and that was uh insane to watch yes definitely he plans on trying a silverless hammer ganon meanwhile we might see a couple uh interesting tricks off ravis side as well i know he's practiced a couple uh new techniques hopefully we'll get to see them come into play today i mean when you're top eight you've got the skill so why not yes definitely now, if anybody was here yesterday for game one, obviously that mistake was Titan Smiths. We'll see where those are today. Meanwhile, we are off. We are. I'll just get some heart pieces in Link's house. All right. So we got a pendant on Eastern and green pendant on Hera. I think Crystal Desert, but I didn't have time to see that. Just a regular Crystal at Desert, yes. Yes. Yep. Espeon's taking the classic route. We're gonna throw that uh, sign at the guard and go to a tree pool. Meanwhile, Ravis is farming those bombs. A little bit of divergence early on, nothing bad. Uh, so when do you think we're gonna get our all-important hammer in a swordless sea that is one of the most important things, probably the most important thing you can find? Well, in my experience with that swordless, it typically comes a little earlier than normal seeds, so... I'd like to see it nice and super early, to be honest. No dodging today. I don't know. I kind of want to be a troll. I would like to see it like in Dark World. Uh, Espeon, by the way, picking up a shovel. It's an interesting pickup. He also got three bombs off your uncle, so he's not going to have to farm bombs. So we'll see when he goes to that shovel spot. Probably after Kakri Cup. Uh, looks like he's going to be taking a south route, so he might be doing it right off the bat. I uh, oh, saw okay. a potion well. on Ravis' side in the library. I mean, if they start running out of light world areas to check for dark world access, that might be a pinch if they get boots. Grab that, run up the sick kid. Otherwise, I doubt we'll see that bottle. Right. Um, so why don't you go ahead and tell us a little bit about what uh, our settings are in this race. We have already obviously mentioned Swordless. Uh, to be fair, uh, give me a second. I forgot what settings are. I do <laughs> a lot of these. It's, a, reg all it's a regular open seed, uh, other than the fact that this is sort of normal, no variation. We're good. So, uh, okay. We're see some fun. All right. You caught me on that one. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, it's fair. I make it a rule not to look at the settings until we start. Otherwise, I get the, the matches confused pretty bad. Although I can say I am excited they're doing Swordless, and it's one of my favorite modes. Right. All right, so some more bombs in the well. Oh, there's a oh, potion. There's... Yep. Bye, library. Yep, that becomes irrelevant now. Also comes with a red goose. I mean, that's handy in a pinch. Definitely. We got our first shield. Thank you, bottle vendor.
Yeah, pretty sure that's a little cheaper if you bought it from the shop, to be honest. I could be wrong, though. Just 20 rupees on Sick Kid today. Mm -hmm. This is some interesting routing I'm seeing on Ravis' side, actually. Well, I mean, he came from the south route, so he just wanted to make sure he had uh, everything he needs because he's just going to probably just work his way north into uh, the forest at this point after this. Dare I say this far, a very dry Kakariko. Yeah, there's been nothing. Ravis will be the first to be heading up towards the uh, Lost Woods. Hopefully we'll find something there. we still got a couple options ahead of us, though. So, yes, yeah, so really, we found nothing so far. Nothing to indicate a direction at this point. Uh, I'd imagine both runners will likely head south shore uh, once they're done here. South Shore, maybe see someone pop in this Ahashula first. Other than that, really, there's a Hina. You get the powder. You can't do anything with the powder just yet, though. And how rude the map for escape in the sanctuary. Hey, we know where to go now. Correct. Okay, so Rave is heading for South Shore. Hopefully we find something down here. At this point, with the runners will probably take anything. Right. Worst case scenario, they can still do escape. Bombs puts that in logic, at least for the uh, front half. Yep. Now, because this is swordless, there are still four sword locations to be found, except they will appear as 20 rupees, only they're green 20 rupees. So if you see a chest open and you see a green 20 rupee, that would have been a sword. And just money and a piece of heart at the dam. So off the menu, no bad. That's because he's going to go head towards Agina. He yeah, can't pick that up without a power glove. And Espeon giving us a lumberjack check. Just, Just a pack arrows. of sticks. Espeon heading south shore as well. Just has to be a little careful. He was getting bodied a little bit. Yeah, there's jazz hands. Oh. All right, again a gamble. Is it gonna pay off? It is. It is. Wow. We got the power glove over at Agina's cave. Definitely. I'm uh, seeing a back of escape immediately from uh, Gravis' yep. side. That is also mountain access, not in logic, but they can sequence break that dark room rather easy. Yeah, I don't know if that would be high on the priority at the moment, because it is only two items. You'd get uh, Old Man, and you can check Spectacle Rock. Espeon going to have seven bombs for Mini Moldarm Cave. Ooh, and a moon pearl in back of escape, too. Those power gloves also open one other uh, spot of uh, progression, everybody's favorite. That being that uh, 
really scammy fish. Yeah, and with the Moon Pearl, they can fake Flipper, but they don't have the don't have the money for that quite yet. Not quite yet. They could make it. And the hand's always still an option, especially with those gloves. Would be a little out of the way, though, at this point. That's true. Mini Mordorm Cave coming up empty, so we're not really seeing anything in the way of weapons. Mavis has to be careful. He doesn't have a whole lot of bombs for this. There he goes. Finishes with one bomb to spare. Like a pro. Can even do Ice Rod Cave. Oh, definitely now. Two, three <laughs> didn't didn't realize there were that many bombs there. That's fair. I forgot what it was. I'd just seen it was junk. He's a hard at Ice Rod, by the way. I will mention, we've discussed a few times over the uh, tablet glitch out that's been happening in Link to the Past Randomizer lately. That actually does not apply in swordless mode. Because swords are taken out, the hammer locks the tablets. So tablets can hold progression today. That is interesting. I did not know that. Thank you. Like I said, swordless is one of my favorite modes. I play it enough to know by now. It is not one of mine. That's beyond making that Saha play. makes sense. There's not a whole lot else that can be done. Obviously, you mentioned uh, Zora, but there really, logically, isn't much else. Ooh, that's our second glove back there. That gives us Dark World access without a weapon. Oh, man. Think of the implications for Espeon, though. How long do you think it'll take him to go to Agena at this point now? Uh, I mean, he's going to get bottlenecked eventually, because without the hammer, he's still stuck in Light World. Fair. At least for Avis, though. Sahashvila is a pretty common spot. He's not going to get tight Mitral today. No. Alright, we'll see what Espeon does now. Also, Ravis is heading back. He found enough money. He's going to probably do the big flipper. One of my favorite Smart. easy He's setups for that. Pro. It's one of my favorite ways to see that done. That bomb will push you right to the last pixel, but not through. Espeon looks like they're going to do the front of escape. That's fair. They've already pulled the map out, so there's three potential items. And it's a dark room that we know both these runners know, so if they have to go to the sewer cross, it's cool. And I don't believe we saw a key in the back, so the key is still out there. Exactly, it might be in that sewer cross. Piece of heart on the hobo. And Ravis forgetting he doesn't have flippers, has to set up the spot. <laughs> We've all been there. Uh, myself more than many others. <laughs> Rave is having a little bit of trouble getting into that whirlpool. You gotta be careful when you're fake flippering. Oh, definitely, Zora Snipes. We've both been there. Mm -hmm. So it looks like Espeon found the key, so everything else at this point are items. There would have been a sword right there. Ooh, buddy, we found a lamp and a waterfall. I mean, that knowledge purpose can be really big, because now you know uh, the flippers cannot be behind dark rooms. Correct. And just a shield on the ledge will not be back for that. 
Shields? Who needs shields? Espeon, very, uh, very carefully keeping that guard alive. Oh, I was almost, I was almost hoping that was the same card. <laughs> that would have been a little trolly. Oh, vanilla Oh boobers. my Look goodness! At <laughs> Water toes. Wow. And did we say vanilla? Is this even rando? Right. I feel like vanilla, vanilla rando or vanilla flippers can be a little trolly because you really generally want to avoid going to Zora until you have the flippers. Oh, definitely. I'm just thinking about the logic uh, implications of this. We do not know what's in Eastern Palace yet, but it is possible the seed wanted you to go get those gloves, go to Zora, just to get the flippers, to get the lamp, to get either to the back of Eastern or Death Mountain. Espeon having to use his potion as he's looking for uh, the last chest in the dark. Yeah, this dark room can be a nightmare. Oh, he gets Unique it. Unique item. Unique item. <laughs> but yeah, that room could be a bit of a pain without at least a sword. Fire rod on old man. So that is an actual weapon. That it is. Old man was packing. Also, that makes Skull Woods holy in logic. Yes, no sword required in Swordless. Curtain pre-cut. Same with Aggie. <laughs> All right, in the blind check that everyone's become so fond of, those hint tablets. Hey, and being normal mode, that bloomerang might actually pay off a time or two. <laughs> I've never seen that hint before. Oh, it's a rare one, but thank you, thank you, I enjoyed that. This is my favorite part of commentating. The hint tiles, line pun. People just getting mad at their hints. The occasional rage ether. And 20 rupees stun prize. Hey, at least if we have to do Zora by logic, at least they gave us a big 20 drop. Of course, no way to stun without Zora first, but whatever. So Ravis going to get their Dark World access. Probably going to feel really happy. While SP picks up the water toes. And nope, Sub Eastern, I don't blame him. Yeah, it's a pendant. There's not a whole lot of desire to want to go in that direction. Pendant might have taken me in there just to look for the front items without bow, but. The fact that Dark World access was in Zaha's hut, you have so many more options. And worst case, you could always mirror in later from Pod. And Rave is showing a bit of game knowledge at 50 50 bomb spot under that rock. Okay, so we got red crystals on both Pod and Skull Woods today, and it looks like another pendant on Swamp? Yep, that's it. Hmm. 
Well, they I can do one red crystal immediately. Although they're going to want to find that hammer. That's true. And uh, I could put the hookshot in a very rude location. Really not surprised to see Ravis head straight down into the Village of Outcasts, to be honest. I'm one that dips Skull Woods pretty early, but when you've got a fire rod and still need a weapon, might as well just wait. Theoretically, though, you could kill that moth, but you'd have to hit every fire rod shot. That's true. Speaking of fire rod, SP picks his up. I don't kid, think well, there did... is a hint that gives you that tells you what's on left side swamp. That doesn't mean you're gonna get it all the time. You might not ever find that hint. Did Ravis skip the chess game for now? No, Ravis did the chess game. It wasn't anything. Did... Oh, okay. I must have just been looking at SB for a minute. A lot of digs. Was that dig 26? I was not counting. It's so somewhere up in you. there. Somewhere up in there. It always seems like when you got to do 25 plus digs, it just gives you trash. Probably a coincidence, but it just feels like it. Also, it looks like Espeon is going to go into Eastern. Uh, not going to find, well, might find something, but not going to find the Titans mints that they need. Oh, hookshot, Ooh. hello. Speaking of the hookshot that I mentioned earlier, uh, but uh, Espion not going to find the mints that they need in Agina's cave. No, at this point, Agina's going to be his last location. Yep. And just misses that 20 and says, nope, I'm done. Surprised he went back for it. He's paid Zora. He's got a good almost 300 rupees. Yeah, there's not a whole lot money-wise. I mean, at this point, Dark World is... You need the pay off the monkey, the dig game, and chess game. That's really about it, I think. Worst case, buy a green potion to uh, potion glitch through pot, but he's got the money for that, too. So that's just Quake in Hype Cave, so I'm going to give that Hype a 1.5. Could be more, but I don't suspect so. I will give it a solid 3, only because we don't know what the medallion is, but it increases our probabilities of it. Of course, we are also just a flute away from knowing what both our medallion requirements are, so... Ooh, Ravis is going to go check the Leech Check Hint tablet in the game, I think. Uh, does Ravis have a way to get there? Because they've got a... Oh, and they... Never mm. mind. Like I said, there was only one heart. It was well, dicey he from the across. start. He okay. could have shot across, but he died so well. There he goes up the mountain. I was waiting for this. It's one of my favorite areas. With Titans in hand, they can get hookshot cave out of the way too oh yes he can clear pretty much everything but the tablet and Hera at this point Hera obviously being a pendant as it is of course he cannot do spike cave either but there's some cash in swamp palace in case you didn't know oh thanks useful <laughs> tablet All right, Paradox, version 30 type cave. What do we got today? There's ether and a heart. 
I don't know about you, but 7 hertz is where I really start to feel comfortable. I mean, I don't feel comfortable at all doing swordless, but if you're asking heart-wise, then yeah, I guess 7 hearts is acceptable. Although I believe we're still on green mail, and uh, Rabus there not doing well with some, one of those mini mold arms. Hey, the mirror! That gives mm. full access to Swamp Palace. And the, and flute. the flute! What I tell you, version 30 Hype Cave would have been a Master Sword in here, too. Yeah, very true. Here's Espeon is forced now to Agena. They will pick up their Titan's Mitts and have Dark World access. Just a big 20 on the floating island. Not going back for that. And it's time for the Walk of Shame. So with the equipment on hand for Ravis, you know, I'm thinking potentially the Meyer area and desert might be a good place to check out. Definitely. You also get that knowledge on the uh, medallion. Do you checkerboard while you're there? It is possible to finish desert if it's not boots locked as well. Espeon utilizing that uh, whirlpool. Where are you going, buddy? Might be going to pick up a potion or two. Yeah, probably going to grab a green pot. Oh no, he's... I think he's going to go blue. Wonder what for. Might be thinking of a Skull Woods play early on. Fair, he could possibly kill that moth with a potion or two in hand. With the blue that and a green potion. Just a little short. That explains why he was after that big 20. Ooh, what are those, sir? It's like those. it's time for Sonic to live up to his namesake. I know. And our first medallion is Ether. We do have the ability to open the turtle. Not quite. Uh, still need the hammer. Well, yes. So Ravis's routing has actually been really good so far. I mean, I hate to almost already talk go mode items not even a half hour in but we're looking for the bow the ice rod and the cane of samaria and potentially bombos and hammer don't forget the hammer yes best item in swordless getting our first skull woods look too so that's new info at least Kind of surprised Ravis is taking this route instead of combining these with a graveyard ledge, to be honest. You could also get a bumper cave check. Yeah, with the mirror in hand, that might have been a better routing choice, because now you essentially orphan graveyard ledge. Probably holding out in hopes of a graveyard ledge hint. It is possible. Nothing so far in uh, School Woods. That was one of the of course, more we got unique... more checks. Uh, that was one of the more unique bomb setups for a bomb jump that I had seen. Definitely. I didn't think he was far enough to make it.
Here, now you notice Espeon switched the bombs. I highly sus no, he didn't. He switched for a moment. I do <laughs> highly suspect he takes that uh, full magic refill coming up in this next room. And just a one Gibdo Gibdo dance today. Gibdo really dancing with that statue there. And with that, by the way, the goose is loose on Ravis' side. Oh. That's beyond choosing the death warp. Wants to fill those hearts up. Now maybe it was. Oh, he don't have the mirror. Recall, I don't recall seeing a single item. Uh, in the front half of Skull Wood. So I think both items are fire rod locked. Oh, Ooh, we, oh quake. we did a quake, which we have. I thought for a moment it was Bombos, and I was a little disappointed. Well, with that being said, we have all of our medallion requirements. So there's no uh, up in the air as to where they are at this point. And with fire rod in hand, Bombos is completely unnecessary. Yeah, Espeon going immediately for the other chest here tells me both items are fire rod locked in Mire. Or in Definitely. Skull Woods English, man. Oh, that's big. Hey. Oh, man. I really hope Ravis does not put off the moth waiting on that hammer. What a find. Ravis dipping into that uh, desert palace. Going to knock it out real quick. Might as well. Full clearable. Just has to be precise with those fire rod shots. I mean, they could have saved some magic and used the lamp, but... Uh, that's beyond old care. He's got the hammer now. It's just four smacks and that moth is done. And if you got to catch us beyond's moth fight yesterday, this should go really quick. That's two. Hey, there's Bombos, speaking of Bombos. Oh, thanks, game. Does get bodied a couple times on Espeon's side, though. Is going to have to burn that potion. But a very nice fight overall. And that is our first crystal. Get that out of the way, I imagine it's Village of Outcast time for Espeon. With the hammer in hand, I'd imagine Espeon's probably going to go straight into village or into Thieves Town. Definitely. Oh. Or they're going to go right and make me look like a fool, which is fine. Also, definitely no. <laughs> At least check in Bumper Ledge. He might go back to the village after this. In fact, I don't think he has any other option. He hasn't been up to Paradox. Ravis remembering they've got pot. that green potion. I almost
almost kind of wish he didn't. It would have been very interesting to watch uh, Bomb Mo. All right, desert's down. Ravis, where are you going next? If you're a Ravis, you might be thinking uh, Swamp Palace is looking decent. You know, I really wouldn't blame him for that. Swamp Palace more and more lately has been seeming to be valuable. He's grabbing a potion, though. He might be doing Skull. And we know that's what he needs to do. Another option, if he really wants to gamble, could be maybe ice. We've got the items for that. Nope, it's cool. I would be hesitant to do ice without the hammer. Oh, crud. I keep... I, you you have to watch me. I'll forget about hammer requirements a lot. <laughs> but you're the one that plays swordless so much. Yeah, and I'm used to having hammer really early because of it. It's not very often you see it in such a trolley location like the back of Skull. That's true. And we do see Ravis is making the Skull Woods play, which is the right play. They'll be picking up their hammer and be very, very happy for it. In front of Thieves Town, by the way, not showing off anything special. If I have not seen anything viable, what I did not get was an item count. So I don't know how many more items we have. Ravis with the more traditional bomb strat there. Thank you again, Natto. Apparently three items left. Natto's now the real I'm... MVP here. Yeah, what I'd really like is a count of how many times she saved my skin on missing things. <laughs> hey, it's one thing to watch a game. It's another thing entirely to watch it and try to talk about it. Especially when you're watching multiple runners. Oh, yes. She come calm with me on the daily sometime. That's chaos. I can believe that. Fortunately, they have a chat pool that's very helpful. Otherwise, the, oh my goodness. So Espeon did get a hint saying the flute was in Paradox Cave, which might lead them uh, to head in that direction fairly soon. Yeah, probably after he sees that hook shot at Stumpy. Which I imagine that's pretty much the only way he can head towards after this. Unless he finds some sort of game breaking, breaking progression in here. Pretty soon, both of these runners are going to be sitting at two crystals. I'm going to have to give the lead, though, at least for right now to Ravis, though, because he has all that mountain time already spent. I definitely agree. Uh, Ravis has had boots now for a while. And, you know, they're, they're small time saves, but they add up for sure. And I mean, personally, I have my opinions on this race, but as a unbiased commentator, I still have to say I'm really rooting for Ravis on this because I always enjoy game three. Especially a game three in which they have not rolled the settings. This is going to be entirely blind to them if they do. As far as I know, second time that's happened on Restream. So that's extra exciting. Nobody else has really been that brave that I know of. 
Ravis picking up their hammer. I remember correctly, I think it was Ravis and someone else that did this before actually rolled their seed at the last second. I don't think I could have the courage to do that. I couldn't. But it, it makes for one interesting show. Yes, chat confirms it was Rabius and DBO. I calmed that. I remember. I just didn't remember who. Hey, Rabus, you've got to light the torches, buddy. Espeon's got to be very careful here. Yeah, hammer blind is not the easiest. Oh, that's going to get hit. Oh, my goodness. And got Ooh. trapped. There was nothing he could have done. Meanwhile, here goes Ravis's moth fight. I'm going to go right back for round two. Leave two more swings. One more swing. Got him. Good Very fight. clean moth fight. Yeah, one of my one of my preferred strats in a normal seed would be to use that fire rod to bounce him away from the spikes and then hit him. But in swordless, you've got a menu to do that. So I don't know if I I don't know if it's as viable then. But either way, Rave is getting it clean. Come on, SB, you got this. Ooh, snipe, though. Espeon's going to head to that shop, pick up a red pot first. Not going to lie, didn't know that was a shop. Oh, yes. Things I'm learning. I've utilized that one for Skull Woods a couple times. <laughs> I was not always a fan of the moth. I'd like to think I've gotten better at that fight. What I'd really like to improve that was my Ventrius. Him and I do not see eye to eye. Heh, heh, heh. Boo. I tried. Potion in hand, Espeon's gonna go in here and waste him blind. Meanwhile, Ravis has his second crystal and is heading into Thieves Town. This is looking very good for him at this exact moment. However, uh, once again, this is Rando. As we almost see seen yesterday in the Kasame and Walter match, it's not over till Ganon falls. That's true. If you missed that match, that was a very good match. I'll tell you what, that match had my anxiety up a little bit near the end. Uh, and Espeon gets that kill. Takes a few Espeon. rage hammers. To be honest and swordless, I like, if I can, to wait on blind until at least I have red cane. I find that far easier than the hammer, personally. Um, can I ask you a question? Is the audio for Espeon only jumping from time to time on my end, or is that on his stream? You would have to ask Chad on that one. I cannot hear it. 
Yeah, I've got both audios muted. Ah, okay. <laughs> then not. <laughs> Thanks. Apologies. Just be on picking up that heart piece after that blind fight. Yes, and having to take the hammer pegs the old-fashioned way. Unfortunately for Ravis, although he has boots, we'll also have to do those pegs the old-fashioned way, because without a sword, you cannot item that. Speaking of those boots, though, making very quick work of Thieves Town. Espeon not realizing they don't have enough rupees for the dig game. Hmm. Gonna uh, make we're a gonna quick see stop. some inverted strats. Love it. Why not? Best place to realize you don't have money. Ooh, misses the last one, but he can just play again. Still don't have enough money. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thank not you. From, not for a moment that Hespion was going to go back. Now, nah, after a couple cycle throughs, that uh, straddle mess up if you don't reset the room. He had enough uh, time for at least two to three games, though, so I don't see why he reset it after the first. Well, Ravis is done checking. He's heading up to his blind fight, so prepare to clench again. However, he did buy a blue pot for Mafula that he didn't use, so he's got that in his back pocket. And I believe a red potion still, or red or green. I would think a blue and a green. Yeah. Either way, that blue potion will save him. All right, there's cycle two done. Here we go, phase three. Ooh, be careful. Oh, that is a red potion. I was wrong. Oh, and there it was. All right, first try, Ravis. GG's, buddy. And there's that pop-up again. <laughs> I've not See, this seen is why I love before. Ravis. He's got such a professional screen page. Add-ins like that, you know. It's never a dull moment. And this time he has Titan Smiths, so he can keep going. Speaking of which, you gotta love the sportsmanship. Ravis did commentary with me right after his match, and he was able to just sit back and laugh about that. I mean, something that would have probably made me rather upset, but he was able to just shake it off. And I mean, that's that's showing. That's showing something. And really, that's just a lot of this community. Everyone here, you know, so willing to help, very nice, very chill. Uh, if you're, if anyone is interested in getting into a community, speedrunning community such as Link to the Past Randomizer, this is a very welcoming community for sure. Yes, we're always willing to work with newcomers, help teach strats. Plenty of runners have put out videos of different strategies, minor glitch, major glitches. And you're seeing a little bit here of Ravis' decision to go to Death Mountain early payoff with the mirror in hand. They're able to uh, make the blacksmith sequence uh, much faster than what Espeon is doing right now. Oh, definitely. He's Although got both that mirror range. and that flute. And you know, he's even got hammer and powder, so he can do all of it at once. But he... Okay.
Uh, Tump the Dump, I'm gonna agree to disagree. As will I. <laughs> of course, I also agree to disagree with you. You know what my favorite boomerang is. That's true. It says boing boing. That's just the hard mode in me. Well, yeah. I mean, you know, if, if you gave me the option, you know, I'll take the hookshot every time, but... Of course, yesterday we seen some expert action on uh, free streams. Who even hookshot was nerfed yesterday? Just beyond making that all important mountain play finally. Meanwhile, Ravis has that under his belt, has three crystals in hand. I'm not sure where they're going. I think he may be going to Graveyard Ledge now. We'll see what else he could be doing up here. Probably. This could be a... This location is just hanging in the back of your mind. Get it out of the way. Get peace it's of mind. Right. It's something I typically try to shoot for myself. And to be fair, he might just cross the river after this and head towards the pod area. Can't finish it, but there's five items. What I'm really surprised about is... Well, no, I'm not surprised. It's a pendant. Swamp still looms in the back of my mind, though. Oh, man. Well... That kind of changes things, and I'm glad he went back now. Alright, Ravis, you're confusing me. Where are you going, buddy? If I check in Bumper Cave, I don't think they did the first time. Yeah, Bumper Cave. I don't think he checked uh, Lumberjack either, so he might peek in there. Especially now that he has boots. That's beyond gonna go ahead and open up a uh, turtle rock mine as well. He's got the hammer. Might even peek his head in and check that hint tablet. I hope he does. I'm a fan of getting to read the hint tablets. Well, you're gonna find out. Ah, uh, some cash requires the hammer. Are we once again referring to Swamp Palace? Potentially. Meanwhile, Ravis making our first trip into Ice Palace. Solid play. And the repeat of what we just found out with the purple chest. Now, if you're new to Swordless, wondering why you saw a Bombos uh, icon on the floor, uh, because medallions uh, usually require um, a sword to use, and in Swordless you don't get a sword, those... Uh, little, those little things on the floor allow you to use things like Bombos, uh, Aether, or Quake without a sword. In case you don't have the Fire Rod going into Ice or Ice Palace, which in this case we do. Correct. You will find one more of those down at the basement with Cold Stair as well. And I believe that's the only two in here in the game. No, there's one oh. more in the room above the big keep, uh, above the big chest. Because you need to defeat those two. Uh, oh, yes, ice yes. The uh, freezer room. Yes. All 
All right, tile number two. Ooh, big hint. Oh my that god. That is our yes. ice rod location. That is our definite ice rod location since we've already checked one of those fish. Yep. And that essentially puts us in a bow go mode. Or bow mode if you prefer. And we now know it's not a pyramid fairy. Well, I guess we technically knew that anyway. Bob being a red pit crystal. Espeon and open out. Ain't got time for that. Lucky for Espeon, though, with the way he routed this, he has boots for the spiral cave, so it's going to be a little less painful. There's Still sitting on two fire. hearts. Got to be a little careful. Yeah, I'm kind of surprised we, we haven't upgrades. found the blue mail. <laughs> <laughs> can I call Jinx on you? Close enough. Yes, yes, you can. I, I mean, Did Rabus? You, 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 you can talk. It's okay. Did Rabus nope out of the ice jump? I missed it. Uh, must, must have. Must have. Yeah, it's a bit of a different, a bit of a different setting it up in Swordless. You don't have that sword to really mark where you're at compared to the bomb, and I'm not the best of watching the pixels for that either. So this and is something Kana I'm Samara a fan of as well. Hand. Yeah, with right. Kana Samara Still that key. Hand. Sometimes it's faster to just do it like this than to keep missing the bomb jump if you don't get it the first time. He didn't get all three items, though, did he? I didn't see him go right side at all. I might have missed it, though. Uh, I was having a little stream delay. That's fair. This could be very interesting routing. If Kane was required and Coldstair has a key, he could just pop back in and go the, uh, go the right way. As always, Nato keeping us on track. Rave is going to pop that blue potion and just fire out his way to victory now. I don't blame him. Cold stare with a hammer is not the easiest fight. Nice double kill, though. And Espeon's bird is loose. Meanwhile, that's crystal four for Ravis. Be curious to see Ravis's next plan of attack here. They're noping out, it looks like. Gambling that maybe that third item isn't required. I am hesitant to leave an item in Ice Palace. Yep. I can kind of almost get it, though. You're only missing one item, and there's so many other places, but what if it was your bow in there? Ooh, I, I really don't know what to think on this. Ooh, he's resetting. I think you wanted yeah. to set spooky. No, they he uh, they realized that they skipped an item in Ice Palace. Rave, this is going back. Okay, that makes me feel a little better. Oh nope. See, Ravis is making me wrong again. Ah, uh, this is normal mode. I forget. <laughs> Get those. In case get you all upgrades. are wondering, in case you all are wondering, that is for one reason and one reason alone, and that reason being a slime pit full of eyeballs, the bane of my existence. And there are no safeties for Ravis. This is going to be a he might, bomb and he might grab hammer a pot. fight. A 
Okay, now this one's completely confusing me. Is he going to swamp? He's probably just going to go grab that ice rod real quick while he's thinking about it before he forgets. Yeah, because then he could combine it with a potion trip if he wanted. And just about that ice palace thing, just so you know, as a commentator, if you if you guess something they're going to do, they're going to like hear it in the back of their mind 20 minutes in the past and change the plan <laughs> to spite you. Just so you know. See? What did I tell you? Now he's going to Pyramid instead of Catfish first. Oh, this... I don't recall if Ravis did the front of escape either. He did not. I'm gonna loop that in with this one. Yep, yeah, looks like it. You're gonna lose this... a couple minutes. I would say at this point, this is kind of what Espeon needs. All right, pro strats, here we go. Or not. We have a hammer, though. We have a hammer, we have 11 hearts, we're in good shape. We have a hammer, we have 8 hearts, we're in good shape. We have one more Lammo, it's Q. Doing a little jig on Lambo's grave there, and there's a third crystal for Espeon. So I know we've said we are in bow mode, um, but the silver arrows would also be very nice. Oh, definitely. Although if you're Espeon, they were talking about doing some silverless Ganon strats. Madman. Theoretically, it's possible, but I don't know if that would be what I would be planning in a race setting. Maybe one of the dailies. But in a quarterfinals match? I mean, you are up one... 1-0. You do have a game to work with. Yeah, but if you have that win in hand, why risk it? That's true. At least for something that's not like a gamble to try to get the lead. That's just sheerly for swag. Hey, I am all about swag. Like I said, I am outside of a quarterfinals match. <laughs> Here's Espy's ice play. And now that we're an hour in, uh, I want to give a shout out to both runners. If uh, you're watching this, if you're enjoying this, please, by all means, give them a follow. Uh, they have worked very hard to make it to top eight in this tournament. Uh, it is not easy. There's a lot of very good runners that uh, they've been able to defeat and just to get here and do this for your enjoyment. So. Definitely give them uh, a follow for sure. All right, now Ravis is going to go grab that ice rod. Now 
after getting bodied by a whatever. I always forget their names. I couldn't tell you. All right, and as Espeon reads that ice rod hint, Ravis is picking that ice rod up. Ooh, and he is going to go for that ice jump. I think he's got it. Yep. Meanwhile, it looks like Ravis will be making a Turtle Rock play. Is a little interesting. Then again, five items, high likelihood of bow. It's happened so many times in the past. Dead rocks, please. We're just trying to get past you. Well, moment of truth. Not close enough to powder that yet, buddy. Right, first chest is a small key. Okay, two more. I do not remember if Ravis said Ice Tea Room. I'm pretty sure he did. I believe so. Last chest. Maybe they did get all three items, and I had missed it. Well, I would believe that we could have missed it, Nato said, too, and I am not one to argue with her. <laughs> Never argue with our tracker. Okay, yeah, chat saying that Ravis might have skipped iced tea. Hey, um, SP? Oh, I've never seen that set up that way. Hey, there's some sand card action in Turtle Rock. Well, I mean, that's convenient right there after the spike rollers. Just 10 bombs. I remember the other two were 300 rupees, so Ice Palace, good gamble, Ravis. You have to say, as far as Ravis' screen goes, he's in one of my favorite dungeons to do in swordless mode. This feels so good to know how to kill each and every little thing in there without a sword. There's so many item-specific strats. I'm sure you know that feels good feeling like the uh, wizard room on the way up GT. It's not hard to do, it just feels good. <laughs> it, it is a nice little strat to pull off and it always puts a smile on your face.
plus there's not very much dash restriction, obviously swordless, you're a little more vulnerable when you're dashing. And that right there, being able to hit all four in one, always feels nice. Beyond taking two cold puffs down with a uh, with fire rod, just has the one. I had him trapped if those ice cubes would just work with him. And there's crystal number four. I also didn't call out, but that was Kane of Samaria locked ice palace, so. He's gotta be wondering now where that cane is. Oh, that's right, Espeon does not have the cane. I do not remember him checking Bonk Rocks and King's Tomb, though, so we should still have that on the table. I want to say uh, he did. And that's precisely why I said I don't remember and not he didn't. <laughs> <laughs> Listen. Also, did we get a hint from Mimic Cave, or did Ravis just skip Mimic Cave? Oh shoot, I don't think we did. Ravis is just making some interesting gambles. Yeah... I definitely would not have skipped Mimic. That one flat out, nope. Espeon also with the gamble here. Of course, he doesn't have as much of an option. For him, it's either Bowless Pod or Caneless Mire. options when Ravis finishes this dungeon. Kind of curious. He hasn't really messed with Meyer. He could get that green pendant. I, I mean, the also green pendant not... green pendant sitting on Hera might... I meant Hera. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, he is already up the mountain. By the way, Espeon finding out that uh, Palace Darkness is bow-locked. So he's noping Ooh. out of there. Yeah, and he doesn't have a... He doesn't have a potion to glitch in at this point, does he? Of course, that's really good news for Ravis. All he really has to find is bow, so he'll know it's not in there. Espeon's still looking for that cane, too. Ravis taking the safety door and gets immediately sniped. That is why you take the safety door. Yes. Not a fan of Laser Bridge myself. Especially since we haven't seen Cape, we haven't seen Blue Cane. We're still sitting on green mail. Brave, this is probably going to powder a fair, an anti-fairy here in a moment. Might powder too. Yep. Oh, be careful. Okay, we're good. Don't scare me like that, Ravis. Well, that was convenient. Espeon picking up their Cane of Samaria here momentarily. Yep, we'll be happy to find that. Ravis discovering uh, no safety potions. It's alright, buddy. Trinex isn't that hard. You took down Cold, sir. You can do a Trinex. And Swordless, though, those heads can sometimes eat a couple of... Uh, attacks, as I learned the hard way. Oh, tell me about it. Of 
pretty sure you commentated that race with Walter and I. Yes, it happened. I don't remember if it was their Espion and Rabus's or Walter and Kasame's, but it happened yesterday too. Head number two is down. Espion's picking up a potion. Two potions. Is he I doing his Meyer money. play? You do now, yeah. Ice Palace with the cash. Ravis. Oh, man. Can't afford to do that too many more times, Ravis. This might be death warp in here a little bit. Refill some hearts. Yep. Can't powder without grabbing the big magic. Might as well. And then once you grab that, you're eating your Trinex magic. Espeon's heading to Misery Mire. Imagine for a moment if that bow is indeed in here. I don't think there's many places it can be at this point. I'm still gonna say it, Pendant Swamp. Yeah, neither, neither runner has done Swamp. I completely forgot about that. Swamps always seems to hold something in version 30, I'm telling you. Ooh, and the early ice drop on the ice head. They have to play real conservative. Oh, there's a good position. Never mind. That's always my luck, though, on Trinex. Get him in a... Get him nice and fast on the fire head, then he drops that ice still, and he moves to where you can't hammer without getting knocked back 500 feet. Be careful, buddy. Well, we do not. I don't think we have a Godmire unless I miss the big key on the second chest. I did not have a chance to look. Oh, I did miss it. It was a Godmire. Of course it was. Right? Every time you're on go mode, it's a Godmire. Wonder if SP will do will go so far as to check the cutscene chest, or if he goes back to Viddy first. It's gotta wonder what's going through both runners' minds at this point. Both have had a little bit of difficulty with separate bosses. Espeon struggled early on with Blind. Uh, Ravis here is having trouble with Trinex. So you wonder if both runners might be feeling a little behind uh, with how with how this seed has uh, turned out so far. Definitely. Lucky for Ravis, though, no ice uh, on the floor this time. Have a full range of room to run through. Oh, it was ready to shoot him again, too, wasn't it? Oh, we found all the keys, so basically it's cutscene chest or Viddy himself. Speaking of bosses, 
if you ask my opinion, this is probably the hardest boss fight of all for Swordless, next to maybe Ganon. I don't know. I struggle a bit with Aggie, too, until I find that net, at least. Which both runners found, by the way. This is sticking around. This might be Spike Cave. This might be Hera. This might be both. Well, is 13 hearts enough hearts to do Spike Cave without any safeties? Well, you've got the hook shot. You can get through the first half. And I don't remember. I don't well, actually know. Ravis doesn't have a potion. Should be maybe borderline okay. Of course, he might just be doing Hera. All right, is it coffee break time? Useless hint for Avis, of course. Yep, it's coffee break time. Meanwhile, come on, Espy. Kill those eyeballs. Be careful, buddy. Oh, I forgot. He bought two blues. Still has to be very careful here. Switching Definitely. up to some bombs. <laughs> Smart. I'm actually surprised he didn't open with bombs. I open because there's more eyeballs to take more area damage. Yep. Unfortunately, though, no bow, so. You're seeing how effective those bows uh -oh. can be. Oh, it's got to. Okay. Okay. <laughs> oh, that was close. And you also see why I say what I say about video. Yep. Now, the tricky part we do not have a bow. Fiddy dropped the bow. He's pretty much got him now. I still gotta be careful. Nope, just a compass. It's cutscene test. Bombs up in the half. Big chest and Hera, so we're gonna fight a troll dorm. Quick, easy fight, though. And misses the bumper clip. I've not been able to get that bumper clip ever. There are many things I struggle with, but I'm actually pretty good at the bumper clip, at least. Oh, it feels so nice. Missed one, but still. I love me some cane strats. Everyone knows that. That troll dorm's dead. They're dropping a whole lot of nothing. Still got that green pendant, though, so. You've invested this time in Hera. Do you go straight in and turn that green pendant in, or... What do you do, Ravis? Oh, there's the cape. Did I miss the cape the first time? Who's got the cape? 
Uh, it's sitting here on Spectacle Rock. Oh. Yeah, it's been a while. Well, that means we know what Ravis is doing. I also missed the hint. I don't know if it was anything decent. It was a unique item is near your uncle. Oh, thanks, game. Which referred to the shovel. And yeah, looking at the way he did that room, he probably had enough life without the without the cape. If, especially if he had hooked that last rock on the way up. He would have got through with one or two hearts, I think. Still, though, cape makes it simple. Restocking those potions. We're probably a turtle rock in five. the future. There was. This might be Ravis's Meyer play. Although I'd really like to see him go turn that pendant in first. I think that might be where he was headed and accidentally flew to the wrong spot. Yep. Not even bothering the head to the dark world means he's pretty much written off the chances of Bo being in pod, which is good for him. He's made a lot of the right calls so far. Well, you know what that means, Wally. It means we'll be sticking around for a couple extra hours. I'm okay with that. I mean, this race I'm... isn't over, though. Let's let's not count Espeon out just yet. Oh, never. I'm just always hyped for more rando. Are we seeing a swamp play? We might be seeing a swamp play. Hmm. This this could be it. Cleared Pendant Hera. I believe cleared the items out of Eastern. We've gone through all of Eastern that we could, yes. I don't remember there being a third item. I believe there is. Oh, okay. But that, that'd be well, on our Even if it is, it can't be the bow. Right. So I think the so bow this has is our to big be... Item. Yeah. Unless I'm forgetting anything overworld. I don't think so. I think we've done everything. Did we do K45, actually? I feel like someone would have had to. Yeah, but Mir was up on Paradox, and Paradox was locked by a hookshot, which was at Stumpy, so... Uh, yeah, maybe not. It's possible. Of course, if it's not in Swamp, Ravis can always head straight there. That's true. Hey, there's our boot tent. I missed it. The boots are in Super Bunny Cave. Thanks again, hey. game. Time to head to Super Bunny, right? Stop everything. We're going straight to Super Bunny. Again. First item, Big 20. Yeah, Nato's confirming she doesn't remember uh, K45 either. Hey, you need the key, Ravis. Ravis, there you go. That's a mistake I've made plenty of times myself. Especially when I'm on go mode, though. I do have to say, Swamp is one of my preferred dungeons as well, especially in Swordless. There's a lot of cool tricks you can do in here in Swordless. Very clean chain chop room on SB side. I feel like learning Swordless, you learn a lot of, you know, good text that can help you out uh, in a pinch when you don't have a good sword or if you're doing a run with a sword and you don't have one yet. 
Yes. The added bonus in Swordless is you know your opponent will have to be struggling with the same issues. Sometimes mm -hmm. it's a little faster with the sword, but it's a fair bit easier with the items, per se. Oh, and just barely dodges that bunny beam. All right, back a swamp. Got the feeling it's going to be there. I'm going to call flooded chest. Or one of the two flooded chests, I should say. I call left side just to be rude. That's how it works, right? Commentators always wish for the worst. Mm, yeah. <laughs> Ooh. That was the big key, so I might be half right. It doesn't work that way. Does it? So that would be like, that would be like calling. Uh, okay, I was gonna say like calling it and finding the mushroom, but that's the mushroom too. <laughs> All right, SB Mimic Cave. This is your chance, buddy. Ah, just a big twenty. Oh, that's two gambles Ravis has paid off with, though. And now everybody strap yourselves in for a menu boss. Unfortunately for Ravis, his menu is pretty full, so this is going to be just a hair longer. Oh, never mind. That's right. He doesn't have a cane of Brian. He's good. Oh, man. Oh, man, Espy. It's all right. There's a portal there if you make a mistake. That's not a room you want to get trapped in. Ooh, ice rod strats. This is rare. I like it. Does it do the same damage as Fire Rod on Argus? I it does. It just fires a lot slower. Sure. And nice, Kane dashed to All right, keep that, that was swag, SB on. Kane strats and item dash strats. Thank you, SB. SB is not taking the safety. This is frightening. And he gets saved. Wow. Well, he's still a full heart, so he can always go down and get it if he takes a bunch of damage. Yeah, it wasn't at full hearts a moment ago. He was a nope. laser shot away from uh, taking a death. Which would have been interesting to see. You take it now, SB? Uh, oh, nope. Nope. By the way, I, I know this is swordless, but I always like to see how many swords we found. I feel like we've only found two so far. I've only seen two. Hey, Ravis, you have the big key. Ravis. <laughs> we'll worry about that later. Okay. I'm just excited to see if the bow's in there. I'm still claiming half right if it does. You can't take that from me. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, gets that fire out shot off just in time to stop the ice. Oh, that's right, he's got those blue potions. I know.
chat, I'm telling you, these these runners somehow magically hear us in their minds 20 minutes in the past and change the routing to either help <laughs> us or hurt us. I'm telling you. First try, try next, by the way. All right, wall kicks. Left side swamp. You ready to see that bow in here? Absolutely. I'm going to say first chest. Well, then I'm going to go with second at this point since my previous guess was wrong. And where's Espeon going? We're not messing with Hera. this and a shield look at that it wasn't in swamp swamp is a complete bust so then that makes what k45 it would appear so unless we've missed something which is entirely possible Ravis is going to check the dig spot real quick. Ooh, Espy's heading there. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> nice. It could be on a tablet. It could also be on that mushroom just clicked in my head. They just picked the mushroom up. That's true. The way Espeon's gonna head straight down the Bombos. And I think if you're a Ravis, uh, you, you kind of almost want to. And the ant, real quick, Trez, it's swordless, so logic uh, dictates that the hammer activates tablets, so it can be on tablets and swordless. Just real quick, I was I was thinking for Ravis, you almost want the bow to be on mushroom because. Uh, Espeon has, I feel, uh, I think, taken the lead in crystals. Because uh, Espeon's now sitting on six crystals. And Espeon's going to go ahead and gamble that swamp play. That means Rabus has plenty of time to check that mushroom in that ether tab. Does he have the time to make it through Meyer? Possibly with a bow in hand. As yeah, with the bow in hand, it should be a slightly quicker fight. Especially since it'll be a go mode and a god Meyer. Here it is, here or ether tab. Fifty rupees. We're going up the mountain again. <laughs> what a trolley bow. Oh, he's just going to go ahead and do Meyer without it. Well, I mean... He needs the crystal. I'm, I'm amazed he has not made an attempt towards Pod. I mean, we we know it's bow locked, but Ravis doesn't know that. Unfortunately, he's going to get hit by that murder dactyl in a moment. Quake doesn't do anything <laughs> to him. Ooh, we're gonna see first room Kane Strats. It's a lot of bomb drops right there. Yeah, sixteen bombs.
Ravis has been making gambles quite a bit in this match. Do you think he'll gamble cutscene chest today? He might. Um, although you wonder, since he's gone longer and longer without the bow, if some of those checks might be in the back of his mind a little bit. Either that or, like yesterday, he forgot that he skipped them. He's going to gamble and go straight there, although I think he's just picking up the magic at this point. Oh, goes straight to the cutscene chest. Hey, well, that's one of the items, so that'll save him a bit of time. <laughs> Again, he heard us talking about skipping it. He's like, no. Yeah, pretty much says, ha ha, watch this. Now what do you got, comms? Now what do you got? To which I reply, neither runner will ever find the bow. Missed the anti-fairy, too. Good thing we have a goo. Probably wanted to save that for Viddy, though. Yeah, not the right time to use it, but... So once we get the bow, here's the question. Do you complete Palace of Darkness looking for silver arrows, or do you go mode it and potentially risk silvers being in Ganon's Tower? Ooh, that's... To be honest, I'd probably go mode it. Because if I'm, if I'm right, you just saved yourself several minutes. And if I'm wrong... Ganon's going to tell you what those silvers are anyway. Once you get to phase three. Yeah, but I'm not going to I'm not going to be apt to gamble the time as much as I'm going to lose the time anyway. If I were to go to pod per se, then I'm guaranteeing I'm losing the time. I said that completely wrong the first time. <laughs> no, I, I got you. Don't worry. Of course, that's, that's just pretty much my swordless rule. If I wasn't doing swordless, anybody can do a spin kill on cannon, so. Right. Of course, if you're Espeon, you're going to try to frame perfect ha hammer him, so. Let's see here real quick how long Rabus uh, takes on Viddy here and he might have us a bit of a tie game. Yeah, this race has become very, very close. A couple of gambles here, uh, left side or right side GT play there. This is anyone's race. Ravis still has a blue potion, and he bought the uh, upgrades for the bomb, so he's got 20 bombs to throw here. Shouldn't have too much of an issue. Just 
make sure you don't throw them away. All in on bombs, too. Ooh. Just don't be reckless. No! Oh, Gravis. Well, that could be a problem. It's going to be rough for Ravis for sure, yeah. Did he so only have one potion? Do? I don't know. He's, yeah, he's still got that extra pot. Meanwhile, Espeon's beelining for that ether tab. Still got. S this was a pretty good gamble for him. He still had Spike Cave and Hair to do if this didn't pay out. And there it is. Yep. The rare version 30 tablet progression. <laughs> and with that, a little over an hour 45, there's an SB on go mode. Just. He bomb the tablet a couple of times. You know, this would have been the number one chance to rage ether it. Too bad it's swordless and you can't ether. <laughs> and Ravis learning that pod is in fact bow locked. Now he's gonna gamble a uh, turtle rock or not turtle rock? Wow, that's Eastern <laughs> Palace. A little bit on the, a little bit on the opposite end of the spectrum. Dungeon 1, Dungeon 10, they both have a 1 in on, in on. Just while I'm thinking about it, the fact that we are at an hour and 46 minutes just shows the volatility of Rando in general. These two runners basically finished an all dungeon seed yesterday in less time than this. Almost 10 minutes less time than this than it is now. All just because of item locations. They finished an all dungeon seed in like 130, 140. Goodness gracious. It was 135, I believe, for Espeon. Oh my goodness. And you guys are seeing just how trolly some of the item locations can be because I feel like I feel like I was talking what 35 minutes in about what was needed for go mode. Once again, that's rando. Hand you everything but this one item. And then make you basically hundo the seed to find it. So Espeon at this point just kind of looking for the big key. Be interesting. Ooh, half magic. Always, always nice. A little late in the game. Uh, but it'll be interesting to see if the big key is found early. If we continue going through pod, potentially looking for silvers. Meanwhile, Ravis going to go up the mountain. Going to get their bow. 
probably be a little tilted. Ravis did check Bombo's tablet. Uh, but unfortunately, it's Ether tablet that has our bow. There's our blue cane. on finding that big key thought about mirroring decided eh, I should check this one chest just to be safe about the fact that it's so annoying to have progression in a sword to seed when it cannot ever be progression in a normal <laughs> seed on version 30. That's, when, that's like, just... I, I know, like, th this this week the all the sketches was like, oh no, tablets can't have anything, and then, oh, swordless. Yeah, Dang, it's really man. inconvenient for people that are not familiar with uh, swordless, yep. as a matter of fact. We did not find silvers in Palace of Darkness. Nope, that basically means Ganon's Tower, because we've cleared pretty much everything else, unless Armist Knights holds them. Which would feel really bad. <laughs> that would be really rude. Here goes that swordless Helmosaur King fight. Four and a half hearts. SB, be careful. Now we are still on green mail, both runners. <laughs> Pedestal silvers. Chat, that's rude. <laughs> Let's do it. Will you be my friend? <laughs> well, at least if it's pedestal silvers. Bravus has two pendants already. Does still have mired to do though too.
Oh, and hey, before I forget, that's a uh, seven crystals for uh, Espeon. I think it's big key guessing game time. Oh my goodness, you're right. So there are wow. 22 chests. Well, 21 chests and a torch. It's 22. Anyways, um, once the bot gets started, get an exclamation mark, the word bet one space in your guess as the which of those 22 locations will be holding the key of evil's bane for the day. Bear in mind, if you win this big key guessing game, we will hook you guys up with a seed just like this one, so congratulations. So I see you bet 14. That's typically my go-to number if I don't want to be rude and call tile room. What do you okay. got for us today? Uh, I'm going to go a little more rude. I'm going to say 18. Ah, uh, any preference as to where that 18 turns out to be? I tend to be a compass room person first, then go left side. So 18 would be, I believe, vanilla. No, not vanilla. I think it would be one. I think it'd be Bob's chest if that's if I'm yeah, counting that Bob. right. If they go left, my guess will be Bob's chest as well. However, otherwise, it'll be the first chest in rando room. I mean, unless uh, Espeon's feeling a little froggy and wants to go do a tower room burst or whatnot. I mean, that would be a gamble. Uh, but with the kind of seed you've had, it might be something that's that you're thinking about. Right, here we go. Chest one, ten arrows. Chest two is a small key. Probably gonna go right. Yep. Typical of not only Espeon, but most runners, it seems like nowadays. Hey, you know what? That fire shield there just saved him uh, half a second from not getting hit by that fireball. So, yeah, go fire shield. Sometimes shields are helpful. As long as it's not the mirror shield, yes. Hey, we have a mail upgrade. And silver arrows. So right side. Going well. nice. did finish off Helmasaur King gonna stock up on some potions and go back to get his revenge against Vitreus meanwhile that's 11 down chest 12 fire bar room Some booms. Just what we needed. A good three pack of boom berries, right? <laughs> A 
13 fire snake room. Ooh, we got chest 13. With that, we are no one heading up the mountain. That's no you at 13 or closest. That would be you at 14. Oh crap. <laughs> so it's okay. Can I call it? Can I call it rigged? Fair. Yeah. <laughs> I'm wondering if Espeon's still going to go for the silverless fight, even if he has silvers. I hope so. That'd be very swag of him. <laughs> oh man, almost had to burn that potion. Good thing there's a refill room coming up. Oh, we used it anyway. Well, okay then. Willing to spend time for a silverless fight, but not willing to spend 10 seconds in the refill room. Whatever makes him happy, I guess. Priorities. First gauntlet room not being the friendliest with them red Stalfos. I do not like those. This here is probably one of my least favorite rooms in the tower. For the record, I have words for whichever developer decided to put BMOS on conveyor belts. Is that word brilliant? Depends if I'm playing the seed or not. Use your potions. Espeon finally nailing that third Lambo. <laughs> Struggling a bit with those small eyeballs, just chooses to burn his videos on those eyeballs, take them out, and just nail them with the hammer instead. It's fair. Answer a question in chat. Uh, Seto wins a seed similar to this one. Wally, don't tell her that. She'll make me do it. <laughs> but you said you like swordless. I do like swordless. I don't like swordless with bow on ether tablet. Okay, fine. We won't put it on either tablet. We'll put it on, like, Bombo's tablet. See, that would at least be a little friendlier. Would it, though? It's closer to a portal. I don't have to climb a mountain. Um. Grievous, what do you... Oh, refills. I'm just getting some refills, yeah. Troll Dorm 2, here we go. There's one, two, and three. Easy as, easy as pie. Do we get our final chest? Probably not. Nope. Here we go on Aggie 2. 
This is actually a particularly tricky fight that people don't really think about. They don't play swordless much. It can be a pain. Especially if you don't have that, uh, if you don't have the bug net. Yes. While the bug net makes you a little more vulnerable if you completely miss, it can reflect more than one uh, shot at a time. So, hammer, you're only going to get one. That does give you a chance to move, though. Nice double. And very nice pattern there, too. the net dashes. Gotta do something while Ganon flies away. And speaking of Ganon, we are on the big pig. Well, everybody brace yourself for wise words of wisdom. Or just a quick song. Travis, by the way, going full left. I can make a bit of time up and also, ouch. Oh, wait, no, we can't make a bit of time up because those silvers. Because those silvers are on the right side. Oh, no. I wonder if he keeps checking. Gonna take a goo real quick. I don't blame him. Sometimes in Swordless, it's easier to just tank a hit or two in this mode or in this uh, cycle to just get as many hits as possible. It's... In any Ganon fight, phase two is typically the most dangerous. In a Swordless Ganon fight, even half the patterns, so. you're not even gonna be able to hit them, such as this one. He got half magic. As long... Well, as long as you didn't blink, he actually grabbed the wall there. That trick works there, too. As long as you're grabbing the wall and wearing the cape, you don't use magic, and what the heck just happened to that bomb for Raven? He threw it down and, like, got stuck in the wall somehow. Hey, we found a third sword. Well, I mean, hey, there's that. This is one of the few patterns you can, if you get in the right position, still hit Ganon on. As is this one because of the torch, if you get just in the right nick. However, that one's a lot more difficult. Here we go. We are on to phase three. We are in danger on phase three now. <laughs> Phase four, Mona Truth. Espeon, you still going for this? Nope. 
Just gonna take the easy win. I don't Our blame fourth. him, he's a hit from death. Our fourth and final sword, by the way, behind Ice Armos. But get your GG's in chat for Espeon. Yes. We have us a first place victory, Espeon, with an SRL time of 208 and 48 seconds. GG's in chat. With the win, Espeon will move to the final four of the Challenge Cup. Wow, Ravis is about to pick those silvers up and head up the tower. And with him knowing where the mirror shield is, I believe that's a full inventory. He found all four green rupee swords too, didn't he? Ravis did yes. It's basically full inventory. Espeon popping into chat, GG. Congratulations. Hey, there he is. Hello. Welcome, welcome. So how about them tablets? Oh, man. Uh, tablets. I mean, I, I knew coming into this that tablets could have progression, just because it's an issue with the swords, not with the book, or the tablets, or whatever. Um, but yeah, the the worst part about it is that, I was thinking about this, you have hookshot on Stumpy, and that leads directly to Mirror, and then you have to take Mirror back to the exact place you found hookshot, so you're not going to go back there for a long time. Yeah, that's, that's a really rough uh, sequence of events there. Uh, but still, GG's. Uh, what are your overall thoughts on this seed? Uh, uh, this, was... this seed was terrible. <laughs> <laughs> like, it was just actually super bad. Uh, the... I went and I, I went to, to, to Hospital. Like, at the beginning, I was just thinking about this. I went to the Hospital, I got Glove. I'm like, okay. Then I get Moon Pearl, and I'm like, all right, I don't want to go back to Eastern, so I'm going to go do Fake Flipper for Zoras. And then I get a Lamp and Flippers, and I'm like, okay, I guess I was supposed to do this. And then I went back to Eastern, which completely rendered it all uh, useless. <laughs> yeah, I think you I think you last locationed Agena's Cave for Titans. Uh, never fun in a swordless sea to have to go into Dark World without the hammer. Uh, yeah, but it was actually not super bad because I did get, um, if I hadn't done that, I would not have gotten Fire Rod. And Fire Rod led me straight to Yeah, you were first to pick up that hammer. To be honest, Ravis actually had a fair lead for a good majority of the race, though. Uh, you mentioned something about, like, revenge on Vitri, so he died in on Vitti. Yes. Yeah, yes. Vidi is super hard if you don't have bow in sword mode. It's like, it, I, I swear it is the hardest boss of sword mode. Thank you! Somebody agrees. Who, what else would be the hardest boss? <laughs> yeah, I was like, I don't know if there would be many people who wouldn't agree with that. It's just good to hear it. Me and Vidi have a hate-hate relationship. <laughs> But no, it was, um, I think, the bow that finally you were first to pick that up. Really? No Ravis way. Was, yeah, yeah I did Ravis everything. was in the lead for the most part, but then near the end, he ended up uh, jumping back in the Eastern. He hadn't done that yet, and he also struggled for a little while on Trinex as well, so he made a bunch of time up there. Uh, 
I was- I'm surprised. Um, I died in Thieves Town twice and I was really mad about that, just because blind is easy. Yeah, but well, I mean, the first death, I don't blame you whatsoever. He pretty much trapped you. There was nowhere you could go. And I mean, it happens. It's RNG at that point. What I should have done is go and buy a red potion before the fight. Um, I was actually hoping to... When I, I got the blue potion, because I thought I thought I was going to have to fight Mothua. And I was right, I did fight Mothua. And then I used the blue potion because... I didn't want to die to Moth, because that's worse than dying to Blind. But then yeah. I didn't have the blue potion, and I was trying to- I wanted to save it for Blind, because you, it's easier to take more damage on Blind, like... The way I- the way I see it is that Moth... ...can go bad at pretty much any moment, whereas if- with Blind, it can be really good, and then... ...if you- you start taking damage, and then things go really bad. Like, Moth is just kind of bad the whole time, but Blind can be either really good or really bad. <laughs> Bravis, please. Bravis. I love it. You're not even going to open the chest after burning it? Come on. <laughs> As a matter of fact, that's beyond you. Uh, top wall kicks that there was a shop in the dark world today. So GG's to that. Mm. Yeah, I was, after I finished, I was like, uh, after the second death, I was like, okay, I'm not, do I'm not dying again. And I just went and bought the potion. Uh, one of the things that's interesting for a normal seed is that uh, didn't get a single mail upgrade until Ganon's Tower. Yeah, that was kind of annoying. Um, although it wouldn't really have helped too much, I think, other than reducing the number of blue potions that I had to burn like thousands of rupees on. Yeah, you put yourself pretty broke at one point. Had to go do the arrow game a couple times. Yeah, that's that's kind of why I didn't want to buy the red potion because then I would have to do arrow game, uh, and I wouldn't have enough for a digging game. And then I missed on arrow game, and that was really embarrassing. <laughs> like, okay, I'll just do it again. Uh, speaking of, okay, so Ganon's tower, uh, I got the silvers. Um, and you were talking about me doing silverless. I was going to if I didn't have silvers at Ganon. I would, I would, uh, if I didn't have silvers again, he tells you where they are. So if they were in some reasonable location, like if it's like, oh, silvers are in Eastern Palace. Okay, that means they're on Omos, so I'll just go and kill Omos. But if he says, did you get silvers in Hera? And Hera is far away. I don't want to go back. So I would just do silver rest then. And not to mention the big keep is locked behind the coffee break. Yeah. Uh, do was there anything for noping out of that. Yeah. Was there anything useful in Hera? Because Ravis cleared it. No. There was nothing useful. He did clear it. Even Green Pendant was like 10 arrows. I mean, combined, you guys full cleared the game minus uh, Armos Knights, I think. Yeah, and Ravis, other than picking up the third shield on, on the uh, Zora ledge, which he did see, he pretty much filled his inventory as well. I think you did for the most part, too. I don't remember if you found the fourth sword. Uh, yeah, I had, uh, f well, swords don't really count, but I had full inventory, except red mail. Red mail, couple bottles, that's it. Oh, and the bottles. Uh, those two bottles put in a lot of... <laughs> yeah, they did. MVP bottles. So, a fair bit longer than yesterday's seed, at least. Oh, yeah. Yesterday's seed was like, alright, this is supposed to be long, but then it's super short. And then this is, okay, well, it's swordless, so it's gonna take a while anyway. Well, as I kind of pointed out earlier, it's just the volatility of Link to the Past Randomizer. An all-dungeon seed can be finished sub-140, and then this happened. It's all an item placement. Stupid bow. <laughs> nah. At least, at least, at least you can skip the bow now. So, so it's okay. Yes, I need to learn this strat still. Long as pod and Eastern Appendants, at least. Yep. Mm, actually, I should experiment. No, Igors are not mimics. It was not going to work. They don't move like that, so you can't get them out of bounds in any way.
Grave is now on phase three of Ganon. One and a half hearts, and I don't think he has any potions either. I went that into Ganon the... with the thick full health, and then I died twice. Oh. I don't know how that happened. The, f the first time I just walked into him twice, I'm like, all right. <laughs> oh, it's obvious. You knew that the pig wanted a hug. You're so nice for obliging. I was going to hammer him a ton afterwards, so I'll just give him a little bit of affection. <sighs> Not the friendliest RNG as far as uh, Ganon ports either. Oh my god, that was close. Ooh, be careful. Oh man, hammer hit boxes. Yeah. I'm watching the, the restream, so I'm like 30 seconds ish behind. But it's just like, okay, how do you hit with the hammer? It's so small. Uh, I played pretty recklessly in some parts. Uh, like, something that like I remember pretty well is the segment leaving Palace of Darkness for the first time uh, after I got blocked. Um. I ran into like five enemies. Okay, so on the on the restream right now, which is like a couple seconds uh, ago for you guys, I pull up the practice hack. And this is a modified version of the practice hack that you can use to fight Ganon with uh, with the hammer. So I'm actually going to do Silverless Ganon, or at least part of it, because the entire thing takes too long. Oh, okay. Ah, I was watching this before the match. I'm glad the uh, glad the audience is going to get to see some of this craziness too. And everyone, get your GGs in for Ravis, who finishes with an official SRL time of 2 hours, 20 minutes, and 20 seconds. And also, lucky S beyond getting that pattern. Hey, Ravis. GG's, buddy. GG. <clears throat> yeah. I gotta start this real quick. Espeon was just talking about Reckless. So you gambled right side Ice Palace. You gambled Mimic Cave. I can't think of any other big ones, but both extremely lucky plays. Unless we missed a hint that you've seen. No, uh, Mimic Cave was just a mistake. I I was sure I want to check it. Uh, Ice Palace was definitely a gamble. There, there was so much open. Uh, could have been anywhere, and I got two items out of it. So I, I went into Ice with the mind of, okay, I'm, I'm simply going to go there, look for the big key. I'm not going to do the bomb jump anyway, because I got the cane before. So I could have forked it anyway, and... Yeah, then I saw two items, got the big key, and I knew, okay, I'm going to take that small key, finish, finish Cold Stair, and then, yeah, just go to Cold Stair. And, well, and... for what's fair, you pulled both 300s. All you left was a thing of blueberries, if I remember correctly. Oh, see. Yeah, it just ended up being 10 bombs. Or oh, was it 10? Okay. Yeah. I knew it, it was, was bombs. It was... It was a 10 bomb drop. I, I think the 10 bomb drop is what I got in the chest above the big chest. Pretty certain. But it doesn't matter, it was trash anyway. Right. So I knew pretty early this is the winner of this match is decided by the bow. And if the bow is some pixels more to the right in that strange tower, I am probably going to win because I didn't have to clear anything else. <laughs> I mean, I would have gambled on Silver's and GG anyway. Yeah, it turned out Silvers were right side GT. Yeah. Um, I wanted to I ask about through... your early game routing because you went you went to the mountain pretty early and got boots, got the flute and the mirror. Um, and, and so that kind of dictated a little bit where you went. Uh, and as a result, you didn't get the hammer for a little bit. I kind of wanted to see here, you know, what your thought, what your routing process or your thought process was for your routing. I can speak. It's okay. Hmm. I wanted to give Morphula a chance uh, of having the hammer, so I didn't clear Skull Woods. I obviously didn't go for these down. 
um, because I had no Samaria or anything, so just clear the overworld. There was Hype Cave and all the good things, so I had a decent chance to get the hammer somewhere uh, in the in the overworld some at uh, some point. And then I found the Hookshot and I got mids early, which was super lucky with with the Agina play. And uh, then I said, all right, probably on Death Mountain. Then I see the mirror and the flute. And I was like, all right, next check is definitely desert. I still got a green goo, so I can easily full gear desert uh, and go there. But obviously, I'm going to check Death Mountain or Dark East Death Mountain first. Uh, got that. Uh, what was it? Uh, something. Oh, yeah, the boots, uh, even before the hint. I actually wanted to check the hint in Swamp before. Um, I really wanted to see what the Dark Eyes were. Rock Cave wanted to uh, tell us, but yeah, um, I knew pretty early it's it's gonna be the bill. Hmm. Well, for the record, you actually had a lead for a good majority of the match, actually. Yeah, That's I felt like I end. felt like that. Every decision was was pretty good. Uh, the Igina Cave was the first one, then the flippers, or rather the the water walk. Stuff. Well, not water walk, but fake flipper stuff, and uh, with the flute, uh, the the, yeah, the, the flippers. Basically, didn't you basically beeline for Agina? Yeah, I get, went from the dam to to Agina this time. And that was actually like Espions, I think last uh, last located that. Yeah, I felt I, like my that. last location, that, which was like okay. Well, there was nothing else I could get. It would have been worse if it was actually if it was uh, skippable, like if that was hammer. I think uh, instead of something else. Up until Morphula, at least I almost got routed. This I got the I got the hook shot. I got everything down there. I got the boost boots fast. I didn't need the hammer un until this point. Uh, got the mirror for the the better routing later on. I when I saw that book and Bombos was nothing. I was thinking about just memeing for the Ether Tablet. Could have something. Well, would have been a game winner, but. You know, yeah, that probably would have made the difference. I mean, as I said, um, after the Turtle Rock crap, which, by the way, I have to say, what is this hitbox by Trinex? He wasn't even close to me twice and killed me. What the hell? Yeah, I felt like I had to go I... go Hera, and then this Ether tablet was so isolated, I couldn't, couldn't have a chance. And funny enough, after finishing Hera, the next check I made was the book. That was unlucky. Or actually, Swamp and then the book. I just want to say, by the way, you are tearing Ganon up, Silverless, right now, Espeon. It might be taking a bit, but this is something that's just ridiculous. This this fight um is actually kind of subpar by like my my uh my standards, just because I'm missing all of the I'm missing all of the buffers. It's not that I'm missing the hammer hits. But I'm missing the the frame the uh, the select buffers to actually hit Ganon because you have to buffer to a frame and then you have to press the hammer on the frame after you buffer to so it's pretty hard and then I accidentally save and quit so I'm like okay I'm done. <laughs> there. <laughs> but uh, yeah, there's a reason why people do not do silverless hammer Ganon. It's just because it's really hard. It's a dick be fair so any other thoughts guys because i'm sure it's getting pretty close to Tres's bedtime <laughs> you wish <laughs> so i, I thanks, still gotta work for like for... a few hours <laughs> thanks anyway for the restream stuff and i had much fun in the tournament i came way further than i expected top it is definitely something um Met a lot of interesting guys. Honestly, I thought when I was 0-1 versus Dave, you the round before, I thought I was done. Um, and yeah, I mean, I, I lost my own pick. I expected to to lose this one as well. Um, got a little bit of hope because my plays, but you know, in the end, it was the meme itself in V30. V30 is actually legendary already with that, with that uh, logic, with the book and stuff. It really like, is. Yeah, people will, even in V39, people will talk about, remember when this book, always when there's a book uh, book thing uh, leading to progression, everybody in the commentary section will say, oh, well, this could have not been in V30, right? Right. Something like that, beaming all around. 
But uh, to make it to top eight, be proud. That's really awesome. Yeah, it's going to take a day or two, but um, I'm going to get over it, take some time, play other stuff, and I think the German tourney is on the way soonish. I don't know. Uh, I think it's going to be February or March, so get some rest in the head and see what's coming up. Also, spring tournament, I think, is not too far away. They are not doing a spring tournament this year. Yeah, they announced that today. It's oh, not going to okay. happen, at least uh, not speed gaming. Right, um, hopefully see. somebody does something. Oh, people will definitely be doing something. I know people oh, are definitely. already planning a uh, a cross keys tournament, which yes. sounds terrible. But no, that sounds awesome. Like that. Uh, uh, I I we are working on a glitched tournament, possibly no logic, probably overworld glitches. Um, I still um, say a swordless have, tourney, yeah. and actually, chat said it's a two now. Um, yeah, swordless so, tournament. So um. I'm just, I'm just gonna say it because I, I am so cheap. If you're looking for someone to host this tournament, I'm game. And I'm backing it, so. I'm so game, on for doing it on ZSR. Like, Challenge Cup is almost over. I need more Elling to pass tournaments in my life. <laughs> Fair enough. Screw Zuder. Nobody likes Zuder anyways. Yeah. <laughs> screw Zuder. Yeah. It's not like it's not like I am the Zuder admin or something. Screw Zuder. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Um shout outs again to both of you. To Ravis who who's taking a leave his leave today. But honestly, Ravis, thanks for countless hours of great races and entertainment. I hope you'll be back in the next ZSR restreamed A Link to the Past tournament, whatever it will be. Um, Definitely. Espeon, you, you should better get into the finals. Uh, there you don't. Oh, um, man. I don't on know, dude. Wait. But, uh, the, 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 whoever's coming out of the next game is going to be super scary. Um, I'm going because... I'm gonna, to I'm gonna try sorry, to interrupt you. I'm going to try to interrupt uh, commentate one of those matches and All right. be aware I'm watching your fingers so you shouldn't do any mistakes at that point <laughs> <laughs> oh I might wow. actually yeah I might be switching to an actual controller instead of keyboard shortly uh actually I probably shouldn't do that during the tournament that would be a bad idea but I am finally switching to a controller as everybody has been telling me to do for the past year I need yeah. to get on an official SNES controller too so I mean I'm fine with my Switch Pro controller. Alrighty then. Uh, GG again. Shoutouts to Nado doing the tracking. And to both you, Seto and Wallcakes from doing the commentary. Um, and since I just shed on Zooter and now getting crap from my community about it, that's, that is well. <laughs> 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 Um, uh, we are going to host ZSR1 because the weekly is on there in just a couple of minutes. So yeah, thanks for watching everyone. Good luck in the semifinals to Espeon and later. <laughs>